piece that we're working on, Step Hop House, we talked about having a story, having a poem, having like a, a folk fable, um, but we kind of thought, let's give ourselves the freedom to have a collection of ideas that we then string together because we were lucky enough to get some money through the Big Dance 2012 fund and with ELD supporting us. So out of that five day R&D, lots of ideas were already born. And I know I want something magical, mystical, quirky, eye-catching, breathtaking, something that really works in the outdoors and that's, that's new and fresh and a bit of a circus feel, a bit of um, an oldie worldy mix of the new, just this weird idea that, that would really make people just go stop and go, what's, what's that? What are they doing over there? And already for the first time trying it outside today, it's been like, yes, it works, that's it. So yeah bringing English folk dance uh, up to date and mixing it with modern folk dance, which I think is all the street and the hip hop dance is modern folk dancing. So we're just bringing a new material and new vocabulary to, to make a real fusion. So it's really taking it and making a unique and new collaboration. It really feels like a good collaboration that we're actually using both of those styles and the music as well. The music's really important. So using the folk idiom and a lot of folk tunes, but really mixing that with, with tunes that the, the modern day public, the folk, will actually know and understand as well. And then they hear these fiddles and banjos. A lot of time people think, oh, you know, that's, that must be Irish music. And of course, we're, we're very much using English tunes or tunes that are newly written, composed, but in an English style. So we're, we're, we're bigging up the English here. <laughs> I'm playing an assortment of percussion instruments, uh, djembe, spoons, baron, cajon, a bit of washboard. So we're going to be moving around a lot, so rather than being static, it's great to just be able to turn up with one or two smaller instruments and move around amongst the dancers and musicians. Really trying to get an essence and a feel of hip-hop, R&B beats in there and samples, old-school hip-hop as well as new stuff so that it really it's really got a feel of not just folk music, but a really strong presence of the hip hop as well. I've never watched folk dance before, so apart from really old people in my hometown, in Norfolk, so it's cool to watch. But I watch the dancers and I see what moves they do. The recent one I'm going to do is for some spins that they're doing. So it's very much the music for the dance. It's amazing because when you start putting the folk dance steps together and then the, the house step, dance steps and then I forget <laughs> which one is which. Because if you, I don't know, with all these dance forms it's a bit like if you scratch the surface just a little bit, it, the roots are so similar, especially with all these kind of, you know, this, this kind of type of Appalachian flat footing and then, you know, all the kind of street dance styles, it's, you know, it's kind of really, really intertwined roots. It's going to be really great taking it to Sidmouth because Sidmouth is a folk festival and the Maypole is the most, is the most, it's just people look at it and go, oh, what is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And what they're doing around it with all of the house and the street dance is kind of like, it's not out of place, but it looks right. I'm Adrian from the Spooky Men's Corral and I saw this gig last night and it blew me away. It was when it came down to demeanour, when it came down to character, when it came to vocal dexterity, when it came down to animation, relationships, comedy, uh, stepping, when it came down to the choreography, for heaven's sakes. Uh, what I saved this last thumb up for being brilliant. Stratford Circus, yeah, I just think people are just going to be really happy to see what's coming into their eyes out of the project. It's just joyous, it's, you know, it's beautiful. Me personally, I thought it was really cool because when you think of like maypole dancing, it's like something old people do. And it showed me that, like, something that I thought wouldn't be cool can actually be cool and something that I'd be really interested to do. It's not just about preserving folk dance, it's about um, making it contemporary and, and relevant to, to people, not just young people, but people of all ages uh, in this day and age as well. And we've been developing a whole bunch of uh, Cayley dances, traditional Cayley dances, and we funk them up. So we'll be using the Soul Train and the Electric Slide and, and some real good funky moves to make that go the swing too. 
there's a kind of an expectation that you go to a Kaylee and the music is a certain way. So it's been great because we're starting out with that as a starting point, but then from there it goes on to become something completely different and something quite unexpected. So that's been really exciting to get a chance to do that. To me, it was more like a theatre in the round, so you can, you can almost see, you can almost see, um, see anywhere, um, which is quite good. So, and you can see different perspective of the show. Um, so maybe sitting in front might not even be the best place to be. <laughs> you might maybe be in a little corner from the side. Might actually be. So that's the kind of kind of quirky kind of thing that I thought was kind of interesting. It's a Sunday evening. It's a beautiful night, and uh, the fact that I'm dripping with sweat and steaming, <laughs> which you can probably see, I think probably says it all. Um, I think this is a, I think it's a, it's been a cracking evening, a really great evening. I think the thing which has struck me most is about there's all ages here, all races and genders, everyone here, some mucking in together and dancing their hearts out. Energized, some really good dances, um, very skillful dances. The timing was great, the routines were great. It was just fun. Happy, it's a happy dance. Hip hop and folk dancing don't really seem like things which go together, but it was infectious and so creative and incredibly good fun. And then the Kaylee afterwards with all the twists on it and adding all the kind of like funky things. Yeah, I loved it, it was awesome. I enjoy folk music and it was nice to do the dancing kind of crossed with it and with the hip hop seamlessly thrown into the Kaylee dances, it was great, really enjoyed it bringing back some, some old folk dances, which I probably haven't done since I was at primary school. So, uh, really fun night, thoroughly enjoyed it. I had a most wonderful time tonight, very enjoyable show. I like the interaction between the folk and the hip hop, something that I've never thought would work, but it works very, very well, and it is most enjoyable. I'd love to see projects like this go into schools and community groups to just, I don't know, to just have fun with. It's, it's, such, it's, it's such a good learning thing for teamwork and music and how cool folk is, because I think folk is incredibly cool. Anywhere, anywhere you see this, make sure you go and enjoy yourself and join in.